counts, it starts at generally number sets. So we have all the focuses attached to the flow charts. This is an example of a flow chart. Flow charts take all of the standards at that grade level and map them to show prerequisites. So what we have right here is you're seeing that we should definitely teach 2OA2 before or perhaps even during 2MB8 and 2MB4. So we have 2OA2 that flows into both 2MB8 and 2MB4. Also, 2MD8 goes off of the page, so this arrow indicates that there's more along this line of teaching. It goes going on to the next page. Notice also 2MD4 is a dead end. It's once you've taught this, you're done with this particular strain. If we look at the next page, which again will be blue, we're doing something very similar, but notice that we are touching focus one this time. We're going over into a different focus, and yet the same types of topics. We're coming from the last page, as the arrow indicates, and going into the next standard, which is 2 and one We're going to have a lot of students that get stuck right here with fluency in addition and subtraction. Knowing that, I'm going to teach this and at the same time be able to jump out to other colors such as uh, we have the color black back here which is measurement and notice that measuring items doesn't necessarily have a prerequisite of fluency and addition. Notice that these three are connected so you would do these either in one unit or understanding that really these are prerequisite to each other. So as you can see by this, and we have a bunch of these, uh, as you can see by this, if you take a piece of paper and move it across, you can actually see equivalent fractions. So if you can see the line right there, the line lines up, this means that one half, this one half bar, is the exact same as two of the one-fourths. So one-half is equal to two-fourths. The one-thirds don't quite line up, the lines don't, and I can One thing that I can say about Kai Davis's book is that it really broke down the new Common Core standards. And as a teacher that had never been through changing standards and indicators before, it really gave me a sense of understanding of what my kids needed to do and how to break down those standards so that they met each level and had a complete mastery of the standard. privileged enough to get to attend Kai's math scaffolding professional development. It's one of the few professional developments I was excited to go back for a second session. Um, we walked away with tons and tons, tons and tons of musical activities. She brought in examples of things that you could go right into your classroom and use the next day without a lot of extra effort or work um, that really meet the needs of the Common Core standards. She took every Common Core standard for math and she broke it down into individual steps. Um, showed us what to teach first and then to build on that and to continue up until we reach the highest level of skills. Uh, and to go along with that, she hit every level of Bloom's taxonomy. She took a math standard. She gave us the knowledge and comprehension activity to go with it, all the way up to synthesis and evaluation. So we were able to meet the needs of our basic students as well as our students that were ready to work at higher levels. Kai has included some lesson plans, and they are um, at levels, Bloom's Taxonomy levels, and that is very good for the boys and girls because you start out easy and move up, and they're able to apply the skills in math necessary for them to really know what math is all about instead of just 2 plus 2 is 4, and being able to see um, why they will need to use math later in life. As a veteran teacher, the professional development that Kai Davis provided us was very valuable. I've been through a lot of different professional developments over the years, but what she did for us really made things simple and easy to, to understand and gave us a direction.